Hey everyone, it's John and Jackie with OpenLove101.com. And threesomes are amazing. Yes, they are. They are. <laughs> and then we're going to talk about those today. Uh, yeah. One of our most popular videos on YouTube is about threesomes. And it's just amazing the amount of traffic we get on that and the questions we get about threesomes. Right. And I think a lot of couples in, in the swinger lifestyle, open poly relationships, they begin their journey, and not all, everyone, I mean, we didn't, but they begin their journey with having a threesome. Well, it's definitely a fantasy that's high up on most people's lists. It is for sure. So, I mean, regardless of whatever relationship model you end up adopting, usually across the board, that is that hidden fantasy that people will reveal in those questionnaires yeah. and magazines that they'll be like, yeah, that's something I'd like to do. You know, people come into the club and, they, and you ask, so what made you guys decide to come out? And they're like, well, we decided to have a threesome. We're looking for a single girl. And so I think a lot of times for some reason, and like it's not scientific <laughs> by any means. We're not doctors. But I definitely know that most people that come in and they say that they're looking for a threesome, a boy, girl, girl threesome. Right. Well, yeah. And and there's lots of different ways to have threesomes. That's for sure. Yes. There can be lots of different people involved in those. And so, which we think is kind of, uh, you know, it's interesting that that's where they start. And then, but we also get emails about people that say, you know, my husband, he only is comfortable if I'm going to be with a girl, you know, he doesn't want to have a, a male, male, female threesome. And so, you know, that can be challenging in some relationships as well, getting over that hurdle. I think people are much more comfortable, at least it appears that way, I say majority, with having a male, female, female threesome. I think it's important to remember when when the the topic comes up and it could very well be if, if you've got a situation where it's a male female female it could be that the couple have jointly decided that that is something they prefer you know uh, maybe the female in the relationship is bi and this is you know this is her avenue into being able to experiment with that with the support of her partner it could be like John said you've got a a couple that um, you know the the gentleman feels much more comfortable with that, and the female partner is fine with that as well. As well, so you know it, it, it works, and it can be exactly the same when you've got a, a male, male, female. Maybe you've got the couple where the male in the partnership he. The idea of his wife being with another man is something that really, really turns him on. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, the female portion of that relationship, maybe she prefers that as well, you know, and, and it could be for a, a lot of different reasons. You know, the sometimes our tendency to lean one way or another can have some underlying reasons, and sometimes delving into those other reasons can be a, a good idea. Especially if it's something that's um, that's hampering you from being able to maybe explore the fullness of a lot of different options. And I think the reason, you touched on a great point there, the reason why so many couples, I think, go, they gravitate towards having a threesome is because there's fear from one of the partners or both about someone of the, of the sex that they have fear about. Right. So, for instance, you might have a couple, and the and the man is not comfortable at all with his wife being with another man. So, therefore, they're not going to do couples, or vice versa. Maybe the woman is not very comfortable with his her husband being with another woman, so they're not going to do a couple. You well, know. you mean uh, they're not going to have a, a a female or a male, not a couple. Yeah, they're probably not going to get into a couple swap because one of them has a fear of their partner being with someone of the opposite oh, I, sex. I see what you're saying. I yes. Saying. So that's why if, if one or the other has that fear of their partner being with someone of the opposite sex, then the solution is a to threesome. have a threesome. Right. Yes. So I think that's why it's most prevalent. Right. Uh, now, why is it most prevalent having a male, female, female? Well, it seems like this... I don't know if it's a misconception or if it's factual that men 
just really fantasize about having a threesome with two women. All men have that fantasy, and that, and that may be the case. It it could be though that men have that fear about their wife being with another man, or with themselves being with another man, and maybe what they fear the implications of that might mean if they are in a situation where there's yes. two men and a female, because there's still. You know, it's 2020, but we still have a lot of um, stigmas about some of that. Yeah, and I want to touch upon what you just said there for a second, because I think it's a, it's a great point, and it could be part of what's holding people back from having a male, male, female threesome. When a guy thinks of a boy, girl, girl threesome, he's thinking about, you know, these two girls being with him and the two girls being with each other. So it involves straight sex and also bisexual sex in the man's mind, in the fantasy. Right. Maybe his interpretation of a boy-boy-girl threesome is the same. Right. Where there's going to be, you know, the two men pleasing the woman, then maybe the two men together, the woman watches, and that may cause him pause to move forward. And, right. and that's fine. It's just another reason why they may be holding back. But it doesn't have to be that way. Mm -hmm. I think it's important in those situations, if you're going to have a male a male, male, female threesome to be, you know, just at least be comfortable being around another man naked. I think it, it takes that. And there are some men out there that are not comfortable with that at this point. Mm -hmm. it, but, you know, it can be a great way to introduce mm -hmm. that option into your play is, is to experiment with that. So, you know, don't write that off just yet. And you had mentioned, uh, you know, communicating talking about it yeah. and that is the key if if you're in a relationship and your partner doesn't want you to be with some of the opposite sex I think it's important to communicate it and maybe that's a way that it can happen so it's comfortable for all of you right yeah if you've got if I have a fear that John and I are going to have a threesome with another woman but my fear is based in comparison like, oh, she's going to be better than me. I'm going to lose John. That's a great point, Those John. are conversations that need to be had. They really do. Those ones that, you, that you're in fear of having, that should be a signal to you that that's exactly the conversation that you should have. It, you have to be honest. You have to be yeah. honest. It, so I think that's what happens a lot of times, too. They just say, nope, I'm not going to do that. But they don't really get into the reason why they're if they're embarrassed or their fear of sharing that with their partner. But if you have that fear, it's important. No matter what it is, it's really important to break through that fear and communicate with your partner. You know, the 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 woman may have a fear of having to be with the other woman, mm -hmm. and that's why she doesn't want to do it. But you don't have to be with the other woman. You can have a threesome. I can have a threesome with two women, and you and the other woman don't have to do anything to each other. Right. It can all be about about me. And I mean, that, that's the thing. You get to set whatever the parameters are. And just because you're in a threesome, and you were probably going to get to this, and I got excited and jumped in, <laughs> is that just because you're having a threesome doesn't mean all three people have to be involved. Part of the great thing about a threesome is, like, for instance, if if... John and I are with another man, John can sit back and watch. So he's like, he's there, but he's not involved physically. Right. And it can it work the same way with John. I mean, we've had plenty of threesomes where I'm kind of in the background observing John and the play partner. It's still a threesome. I mean, you still, it's a great way to kind of work through maybe some of those fears that you have by getting to really allow yourself the opportunity to watch your partner. You know, we get in such fear that we, we lose sight of what's really happening. Like just take that inhale, that slow exhale, and just watch. It's okay if you enjoy what you're seeing. Um, it, it can be a great stepping stone to, to move forward in the other thing. And it's okay to step back and watch. It's okay to enter into it if you, if you want to as well. Like mm -hmm. I said, there's, you get to choose the parameters of this really special 
type of play. Um, it's, it's my most fond memory of John and I when we were first together was that very first threesome that we had. I mean, it's just seared into my memory and I, I have a, a lot of really good memories from it. It, it really helped us grow mm -hmm. as a couple, I think. And another a great memory for me is um, a friend of ours we went on a vacation with and um, her and I, we all three slept in the same bed. Most times though it was just um, our friend and I that were messing around. Occasionally we would have a threesome with Jackie, but you know, Jackie was always there. It was just a, just a great experience because there wasn't any, uh, I didn't feel any judgment from anyone. I didn't fear, feel any fear coming from one or the other. It was just a great experience all the way around. Right. And the only, you know, there were times in the, prior to that where Jackie might have had some fears about being in a situation like that, but she worked through them. And when you are, when you go through things like that, again and again and again, your fear becomes less and less and less. You just have to have the courage to try and get through that fear by experiencing at some point. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Threesomes really are, they're really expansive. It really brings a different flavor to the partnership. I mean, it's a completely different way to explore that playtime you know with your partner as well because there's there's just certain things that you can do in a threesome <laughs> that you're not going to be able to experience any other way I mean um, like for instance for me in that very first threesome I kind of got to be the center of attention that was kind of fun yeah. you know um, and John's had the opportunity to experience that as well it's um, it's just a different way to have some play and I, I think it's really I think it's fantastic that there's more and more couples out there and singles as well that are really encouraging that kind of playtime. I um, mean, it's in incredibly healthy and it taps into um, some different concepts of how relationships can work, how they can thrive, how you can thrive, how you feel. Um, it gives you also an opportunity to kind of see how you can be with your partner and another person and still have that deep bonded connection with your with your significant partner mm -hmm. um, in addition to having this other person and how it can actually at the end of that process bring you closer because it's this other layer of conversation that you can have and intimacy that you know that you shared um, together. Yeah, that's a great point. Yeah. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. Hit the blue bell, the notification bell, and you'll be notified through YouTube of any videos that we launch. Also, sign up for our email list at openlove101.com and you'll get our newsletter that will announce maybe Jackie's article or some other videos we have coming out or any kind of deals we have going on with some of our products. Really enjoy talking to you guys. Thanks for being here. See ya. See ya. So if you want John to button a shirt, click on the link below.